I'm Caleb Griswold and I'm from Cedar Wisconsin. How did you learn about Call for Art? Well, we learned about it when we went to Wisconsin Dells for the Self-Determination Conference. Caleb went around at the Self-Determination Conference and um, asked people, do you have a dog? Because I paint dogs. And so then he asked them to send photos to my phone. And then from that, Caleb got the inspiration to paint many different dogs and he was commissioned to paint dogs. Tell us about the mask you're wearing. So during the virus, um, he really just wanted to um, bless people with masks. And so we had this fun dog fabric. And so he put it on Facebook, who would like a mask? And so then Caleb started um, stitching these masks and making them. Do you want to show how you make them? So they're, yeah, so he's sewing. So he's sewing them with the little hat bands and then he's um, sending them to different people, especially the dog lovers. Tell us about your 2020 Creative Power winning artwork, Zoe. I am. Melissa, the owner, answered and actually sent me that picture of Zoe. And um, can I have the book? Oh, yeah. You can actually buy these on the book. What inspires you to paint? It's my art teacher who, we're actually doing three paintings at once. And um, she's helping me on her end, on Google Meet, on a different thing. And so, yeah. And so what inspires you with the dogs, right? Is it your love for dogs? Yeah. He is the mayor of Mutland Meadows Dog Park. And do you want to tell them about Mutland Meadows? So I actually, I actually clean up all the nasty stuff. I take 59 gallons of water to the dog park too. He noticed that when his first time there, this was several years ago, that the dogs did not have water. And so he took it upon himself to bring gallons of water and it just kept growing and growing and growing. So yes, he does bring a lot of gallons of water to the dog park and he knows all the dogs and all the dogs owners names but in the summer when he's not in school he is known to go every day and he used to spend many 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 hours there a day um, people wondered you know <laughs> what is he what why is he there for so long but I couldn't get him to come home they, he just loved being there all day long so um, you know as his life is getting a little more full of different um, activities it's he can't be there as long but he will easily spend you know four hours there a day and really it's a seven acre park and it's all enclosed and so yeah. he makes his rounds tell us more about your studio so this is Caleb's art studio space and it's art at arts mill in Grafton and so we just were really blessed to be able to find this where he can have a space to come and create his art and also display it. And so they have a little um, gallery and um, a gift shop where he can sell different things of the paintings he's making. So these are dogs that he was commissioned to do. And we are in the process right now of developing his business called Paintings and Paws. How did you feel about winning a Creative Power Award? Happy. Yeah. Very much so. We were, yeah, so thrilled for him and just proud. And he quickly um, posted on Facebook, right? Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and uh, told his friends and family and so forth. Learn more about Caleb at artsforallwi.org slash programs slash exhibitions dash artists and our annual call for art at artsforallwi.org slash programs slash call dash for dash art.
I thought your cat was going to come back and jump on you again. 